Here we have a lovely looking 2009 BMW 630i M Sports Coupe in deep sea blue. Starts with the offside front tyre. We are looking at a good 4 to 5 millimetres of tread there. Offside front tyre low, we've got a slight kerb on the outside edge there. They are a polished finish. Um, again, some light curbing around that side as well. So not bad condition for a Sage, but potentially could do with a refurb. Looking down the offside of the bodywork, it does look very nice. Um, taking a good look, I can't spot any dent at all. There is one or two dunk dinks down at the driver's door edge. Apart from that, it looks very nice. Looking around the front arch, very clean. No marks at all to the mirror. Drive's door looks very well also. There is one or two light little marks here and there. A couple of to uh, touchings on the door edge there. Um, again, looks like little car park dinks. Um, door edge of the vehicle is very good. No signs of any marks down there. And it is a very clean looking vehicle. Again, like I said, just one or two light scratches. And as you can see down the, the door edge there, there is one or two light dinks. Moving towards the rear arch, again, very clean. Just one or two light little marks here and there. Rear tyre looks brand new, as you can see it's still got all the markings etc, so brand new tyre on the rear. Looking at the rear alloy, uh, definitely to require a refurb here. We've got curbing around the majority of the alloy, so refurb required there. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle, it's a gorgeous looking car. Um, we've got rear parking sensors on the back there. One or two light little scratches to the back could do with a polish, um, apart from that I can't spot any uh, damage at all to the rear bumper so just a good light uh, a good polish required there take a look inside the boot lovely clean condition as well no sign of any spare wheel it should be on the run flat tires again brand new tire on the rear there so you've got two brand new tires um, a curbing again on this alloy um, so potential refurb required there looking down the near side of the bodywork Looking very clean indeed, uh, can't spot any dinks or any dents whatsoever on this side. Again, one or two light scratches to the paintwork could do with a polish. A couple of touchings required on the door edge there could do with some touchings. Front passenger door, you've got a couple of light scratches on the bottom of the driver's door here. Uh, front passenger door, sorry, that could do with a polish. Mirror is in good condition, so really it's just some light cosmetic damage. Front tyre, looking at a good 4mm there. And looking at the front alloy, Again, we have got some curbing to the alloy, so again, a potential refurb required there. We went to the front of the vehicle, we've got some light little scratches to the front there. Bit of a lack of peel, uh, just near the headlight. Some stone chips to the bonnet, so definitely going to require some touchings here and there to the bonnet of the vehicle. No sign of any damage at all to the front of the car. And again, just some light little stone chips to the front bumper, that could do with some touchings. Take a look at the interior of the vehicle. As you can see, you've got uh, privacy glass on the car as well. Full beige leather interior. It is absolutely spotless inside. Um, really nice condition. Driver's seat's immaculate, as you can see. Bolsters look very well. Full electric memory seats also. Looking in the back, as you can see, great condition. Like I said, absolutely spotless. Leather looks very well for its age. Very nice condition inside the vehicle. Front passenger seats also in a good condition. Dashboard etc is immaculate. Uh, nice dark wood trim. Steering wheel is also looking very well. So great condition inside. Auto lights, auto wipers as well. Two sets of keys with the vehicle. And just getting the car started. Now when I start the vehicle, do you beware that it was a slight rattle to the exhaust, uh, not the exhaust, the engine, sorry. So. Don't know if you can hear that on the video. But there is a slight rattle um, coming from the engine, so do be aware of that. Uh, Mileage wise, very low for its age, looking at 68,693. No symbols appearing on the dash at all either. Nice multifunction um, um, steering wheel with the um, gear selectors there. But as you can see, your cruise control, etc. Looking at the radio, etc., you've got obviously your CD and radio down here. No problems at all with the sound there, works perfectly fine. We've also got the navigation here. 
Again, working perfectly fine, no issues at all there. Heated seats, etc., work good as well, so everything functions exactly how it should, but lovely condition all around here. It's absolutely spotless. Looking at the paperwork, looking at the V5, now it is a copy as a plate is on retention, but the car's had two owners. It does come with an MOC certificate, which you can see on May 17th, 2015, so still a few months left on the MOT. And we are looking at a full partial franchise history, so 22 there, 32. And your last stamps done at BMW here, 58 and 67 being your last service. So recently um, serviced around a thousand miles ago, which is spot on. So just been serviced, but full service history with the vehicle. There you have it guys, that's the very nice looking 2009 BMW 630i. Um, it's got the 19 inch alloys, it's got USB, it's got the Pro Nav, um, sports auto transmission, it's got the, the pan roof as well, uh, Bluetooth and the folder mirrors. Just to quickly show you the... Uh, the pan roof, as you can see, works perfectly fine. But obviously, just being a pan roof, it just opens and closes like that. But again, it functions perfectly fine and lets a lot of light into the car. There we have it. Like I said, a 2009 BMW 630i Coupe M Sport. Lovely condition. A few light cosmetic damages on the outside. Once they're sorted, it will be a very nice looking vehicle.